All right, first off, just want to welcome you all back to more Hogwarts Legacy. The support in this series has been amazing. Keep it up. You want more of this game quickly. I love you all. Let's go ahead and jump back in. This video has been one of my absolute favorites. We get to fly. <laughs> Let's get this. All right, new quest available. Fly. Oh, my God. It is happening. We have waited for this moment. Oh, my life. Uh, all right. Oh, we got a gear trait recipe, finally. Goblin Silver Resistance 1. I feel like that's going to be terrible, though. Hold on. Nenis for Spies. Okay, if that's all the traits are... What is this? Like, if putting on... I'll show you an example. Maybe unless you equip it. I don't know. So if I select it and then go here... There's no option to, like, mod it or anything, so... Unless that's not what that is. And if that's the case, then it is what it is. We'll check it out later on. All right, flying class. I am pumped. Let's get this. Hold on. Wait, what? Ravenia. Go ahead and take this sleeping dragon statue. I'm truly sorry. I didn't mean. That's so cool. Wait, can I... Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. Okay. I say, I didn't feel like it for a minute. Alright, we're going outside. Flying class. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. I wonder if I should change it to daytime really quick. Let's just do that because... Advance it to day where I can actually see a little bit better. Wait, what? Maybe it was too close to night and it wasn't quite nighttime yet? Do it one more time. Now it should be daytime. There it is. It's like maybe I wasn't quite there yet. Alright, I see brooms. I'm excited. Here we go. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Lovely to see you. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. All right, here it goes. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh my Good. god, this is gonna now, be amazing. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <sighs> the brooms I are school the property. I want this them returned brilliant. in one piece. I'm gonna have to change the inversion because it's like opposite what I'm used to. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yeah, I want to adjust it a little bit. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! 
Yo, let's get this. Hello. Nice day for a flight. Man, this is awesome. That wasn't too bad. This is exactly what I've been wanting to see the whole time. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. I gotta admit, the game itself, this, it just keeps getting better. The talent points, now we got the flying. This is my top speed, I think. Yeah, this is gonna just, it's gonna Whoa. keep opening up Our and keep just being, uh -oh. to make an appearance once in a while. <sighs> we'll stay away from that area for a while. I wonder if this class is going to let us have our own broom. I don't know. Because she said it's like oh, school property or something at first. Did anyone else see that? I might just keep the inversion thing like it is because <laughs> I play well opposite done. on the inversion, but have a moment. here we go. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? Uh, let's do it. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. I'm trying to go too fast, but... Hey, the controls are pretty good. I just gotta get used to them. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? I would do this like non-stop if I had the option. Imagine just flying oh, anywhere you want. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. <sighs> How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. All right, burst of speed while... Now that's more like it. That is awesome. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. We're gonna fly past that. No, we're not. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Man, that was an awesome. Like, I was waiting for this the entire game. I was like, we're going to fly. I've seen the gameplay here and there, but hadn't experienced it yet. So. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I see. I have no regrets. I wish we hadn't gotten trouble. Well, it doesn't matter, right? It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. 
Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. Oh, six out of six on the main quest too. So that I should unlock something else. Okay, hold on. Level ten, almost level eleven. Let's see what pops up now. The fact that we're just out here though is cool. I like this area. It's always funny, like, uh oh, two things popped up. Let's open the quest log really quick. All right, level eight required. Here's what I will say. The game is opening up more and more, and I really want to do some side stuff because, like, this one, for instance, you get... Well, maybe one of these requires having... No, it requires just, like, the level. Level 8, level 6, okay. Uh, all right. Learn a curse. I kind of want to do this. I might do that side quest first because it looks like a nice ability. Most likely. We'll see. Uh, gear? Hold on. Icon was lit. I don't see anything besides this one. Um, that's worse. All right. I need to go sell some stuff. Might go to the town area I haven't been to since, like, the third video. Challenges. Hold on. Quest. Now, we might get something here. Hold on. Claim rewards. And that's legendary mask. Okay. Legendary armor attire. All right. When I claim this, I think we're good to go. Hold on. Field guide pages. Claim rewards. I think we've got to be... We haven't claimed that either. It's a blue. We can claim this one. It says... We can't get that yet. One out of 15. We got a while to go before that happens. Okay. I think we're good to go. Uh, collections, outposts. I'll go ahead and open this. Oh, well, we got four. Um, let's wait. I want to do this quest really quick to get this spell. All right. So let me see something really quick. Because this quest, I believe, because this is the one. Acquire and use a focus potion, which I don't have. Uh, use them simultaneously, okay. I don't think I have anything like that. Uh, recipe for the... That's one of the potions, so we don't quite have this just yet. Okay. I gotta get the eggs and the fur, so... We'll wait on this one and come back to it later on, I guess, when we actually can access it. Let's do this one first, since it actually looks like... Conjuring spell. Ooh, okay. You get stuff from this one, too. Let's see where this is at on the map. Really, it's in here. Zoom in. Uh, zoom in again. Looks like fast travel right here. Here we go. We'll help you... I wonder why I keep something like level up my or like equip better stuff. Uh -oh. the join the goblins the rebellion. Rebellion. There it is. Almost level eleven. The gear I currently have on is the best gear I I have. Rebellion. So. All right, we should learn something. So we got. Yeah, here it is. Mill the hallway area. How convenient. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. 
Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, so this is going to be another one I'm going to put on the second column, I think. All right, there it goes. Uh, what? Why did it go so slow the first time? It's like it just didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Easy peasy. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Let me, uh, yeah, let's put it on the second column. All right, so we'll make on the bottom one. Oh, wait, I put two there. So it's like the opposite of the other one. So all I have to now do is... That. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Lumos. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? It is quite dark back here, so... Is that... Goodness! My old school bag! I wondered where that had got to! I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. All right, explore the room of requirement. Okay. What? All right, I waited uh, for you here ages. Fireplace note. Bevelio. Can't you keep it down? Lumos. Some of us are trying to rest. Hey, to interact with something, it. Oh wait, it's probably whatever's back here. We got a chest. Let me go ahead and get this. What? Uh, is this one of those things where I'm gonna have to like bring it out? Oh, we're probably gonna use this to climb something. I bet. Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> All right, we got this, but I don't know if it. Wait a minute. Oh, we got a ramp. Hold on. Tony Hawk or what? Bethenia. A chest right there. We got something up there too. Can't get up there. Wait, can I? I'm just curious. Can I grab any of this stuff? No. Okay. Probably didn't do it right. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Something tells me we're supposed to use that and climb up here to grab. Right, let me see if I can... Could I climb this, I wonder? Yeah, I think I was supposed to go the other way. Let's try it. Yeah. Hold on, can I get... Yeah, I think once I, like, moved it out too much, it's probably over. Oh! <gasps> the wall climb is really cool. All right. That's a level up. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and get this, uh... I wish you could just, like, press a single button and get to the gear. There might be one. I just don't know what it is yet. Oh, that's pretty cool. I may transmog it, though, because I don't... 
What was I using a minute ago? Oh, I, you know what I just realized? Okay. So, when I've been doing the collecting stuff, it wasn't like it's dropping the gear. It's dropping the transmog. Okay. I had no idea. This one, I gotta say, this right here looks awesome. I'm gonna just use this. I look official. Let's go. So that's what that was. When I was claiming some of the rewards, I was like, what in the world? So that's what it is. Now we know. I'm gonna go through and like see what I have on all the other ones too. Just to like see if I have something cool. Stop them! No, not that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Falling apart. Wait. Oh, here we go. So where are we supposed to go? Alright, bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing, alright? It's almost looks like a jellyfish type thing, you know? That is so cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. Oh, wait, here we go. Pretty much using this ability for everything. What was that? All right, another puzzle right was here. That a okay. Snitch? Revelio. Anything back here? Perhaps you should summon your. I hope that house elf can find us in here. This almost is like where you're supposed to go, but I want to go back here in case there's something else I'm missing. Here's what I want to try, though. All right, l let's go back and look at my gear. It's kind of bothered me that I don't. So that is the quickest way to get there is hit start instead of going over tab. Okay. I want to see something really quick. So you have that. Change appearance for this one. So it would be... That one looks pretty cool. Top of the class scarf. This one seems like interfere with the cape a little bit. Um, I honestly just think this looks fine. It almost looks like it's supposed to be that. Or now let's do this one. We'll change the appearance. This is what I wanted to see. Legendary. This is okay. This is from the collection thing. It is pretty cool. Okay. I like this. I don't know. And then let's see if I have anything up here, which I'm not going to use these, but yeah, this, okay. This would have been like, oh, that's actually kind of cool that it moves. I don't like it though. As far as face wearing gloves, gloves, I'll probably change and it have, yeah, legendary gloves. I like this one. Okay, it's pretty much all the customizations I really care to see. Okay. Lumos. So it looks like we're going to be moving, I guess, this one out this way so we can actually access it. We also have to go through, so let's see if we can... Actually, I don't know. Gotta find a way back there, but we can't go through it this side. Yeah, you can't really access it, so maybe... Rebellion. This is peculiar, I don't know. Unless we were supposed to bring this back and then, like, stand on it. Which, that's already... That can't be happening now, so let's try... I think I might. I just realized I might be stuck in here. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I, can I move it a little bit? Just a little bit? It's my top speed. I don't think you can, like, shoot it forward. So, this is about as good as it can get. Okay. There we go. Let's try this. Unless I can, like,. Can I jump over this? No. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, that's all you gotta do. And it's a level up, too. 
Might as well put that on. The fact that that was actually higher is kind of crazy. I actually, I think I like this one the best. I think it just matches. I know it's like blue and black and white and all that, but let's just use that. Transmog makes this game really cool because you can just use whatever you want. Okay, now we're going the right way. This has to be it. Uh oh, hold on. What's going on back here? Oh, I see him. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. All right, I've unlocked a desk of description used to reveal magical properties of any... Okay, I have some unidentified gear. How convenient. I think it's like the blue piece. Oh, that's all it does. It just tells you what it is. <laughs> and it's something worse. It's basically saying, hey, you should sell this. That's all it is. Right in the You'll owls. All right. Plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. All right, speak to Professor. Let's go. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Uh oh. Conjuring spell. All right, here we go. Got it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. 
Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. All right, conjuring spell, new one unlocked. Okay, hold on. Conjure a potting table. There it is. So should I uh, should I take the other one off now? This is actually cool. All right, so we'll just put this on. Which one do I not really use a lot? The deconstruct and the other one, I, I don't know. Am I going to use those a lot? Probably not. Oh, it's saying... Hold on. Oh, I need to have both of them accessible. There we go. So, we just... Yeah, we got it set up. Desk of description, which we don't really need that. Hold on. Let's see. It'd be one of these. Here it is. Does it matter which one? Let's just do this one, I guess. Oh, we get the... Man, we're in business now. Let's go. Can I rotate this around a little bit? Uh, rotate. There we go. Oh, it's backwards. There it is. This is actually sick. I didn't know he's gonna have a whole area you can like uh, change the color. Uh, let's make it. That looks cool. All right, there we go. So now we got that one. What's the next thing? A potting table. Okay, let's go backwards. Uh, let's put it over here. We could see. Oh, that second one looks really cool. Uh, all right. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Um, let's see. Here we go. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. All right, nice. That was one of my favorite quests so far because we got this set up now. We can decorate this however we want to. Now, I know that there's other... Looks like there's just the four corners, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more you can do. All right, so let's speak with Professor again. Didn't we already speak to her? I was going to save my game. All right, let me check everything really quick. Let's see the uh, challenges. Let's see quests. I'm guessing this one says eight. Yeah, so it goes two, four, six, eight. This has to be 10. So 17 quests left. 
Which, I mean, there's a lot more than just that. But, I, like, on a grand scale, that's pretty cool that they got just everything set up there for you. All right, I'm going to take a little break. I've been playing for two hours and 40 minutes without even taking a break. So, love you all, best signs ever. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.